What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Hurt, coming to you with another episode of Afterlife, where we talk about anything and everything that we feel like talking about today. We're going to reach in that bag of goodies, subjects, and material, and we're just going to pull one out like any other time, and we're going to talk about it. Dive right in. You want to talk about it? Let's fucking do it, huh? All right, so today is no different. We're going to talk about the shanks that I've seen in the penitentiary or whatever. They range from different ones, but these are the ones that I seen when I was in there. Um, And have in mind, too, this isn't a level 5 or 4 or 2. This is a level fucking 1 facility, which means 5 years or less, you're going home. Have that in mind. Now let's jump right in. So the first one that I've seen was just an average little fucking tooth toothbrush. Um, you can get two kinds of toothbrushes where I was at. You can get one that's fucking half a toothbrush and good luck trying to get back there. Your tongue, your fucking gums, all that shit. Like it was just worst toothbrush you can get. Then you had a life size bar. You could get one that was regular size, but it was just plastic with bristles that will just fuck your gums up but that one was sharpened at the end or whatever the bristles were taken out whatever sharpened at the end and had fucking latex gloves or whatever wrapped around it fucking easy peasy lemon squeezy fucking got a shank or whatever um the second one average everyday normal number two pencil They had number two pencils in the joint or whatever, you know, with the erasers, the ones that you used back in school, same shit. It was just sharpened or whatever, just like a normal pencil, but it had a fucking, it had a glove around it. Fucking glove or a garbage bag or whatever. Um, Bam, there you go, you got a shank. The third one that I've seen, though, was the one I was talking about in the fucking second fight I've been in in the penitentiary video. The shank that dude handed off to Buddy that fucking he wanted me to hold for him. And I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. And we ended up fucking bucking over it or whatever. Threw hands, got down, however you want to fucking say it. Don't judge me. But anyways, that one looked like clear plastic totes that were just melted down into a fucking like pencil size, if not fucking just a little bit bigger than a number two pencil size but the tip was ridiculous the fucking uh handle was sheets from a damn bed or whatever i'll never forget because i thought i was getting stuck by this motherfucker because i didn't want to hold on to it or whatever so the other one that probably was the second best that i've seen on this compound was ridiculous it was a double-sided double sharpened fucking shank um just probably no no bigger no longer no wider than two fingers or whatever but it was ripped off or taken off of a bunk piece on the bunk like it had the leg the bunk and then it had a diagonal piece that went from the bunk to the leg and uh dude ripped that part off and filed it down to about two finger size or whatever and then fucking sharpen both sides of it now it don't take no fucking hour no 15 minutes to sharpen these motherfuckers it takes hours people hours to sharpen it that's one side now flipping it over and double siding that thing That had to have taken probably like eight hours, eight to ten hours or whatever, because we're in our cells and the floors, depending on if it's rugged or if it's fucking flat or not flat, uh, smooth or whatever. But this dude sharpened both sides of it. I had the shit in my hand. It was fucking wrapped in probably, I think, fucking latex gloves or whatever. But this thing was so sharp that when I was fucking with it, It almost broke the skin off of my thumb by just fucking with it. So imagine getting buck 50 by that motherfucker. That means slit, slash, whatever, 150 stitches, they opening you up type shit. Yeah, that thing was going to do some damage. 
That was the second best one that I've seen. The one that takes the cake, though, that I was just shocked, I couldn't believe it, was a rod. It says my belt or whatever is the best thing I can fucking think of to use as size. Here's my hand. It was about that, if not even longer than that motherfucker. And it was sharpened like an ice pick. The tip was sharpened or whatever. And it, the handle wasn't even to where you could hold it. And it, it was a handle that you had to palm that thing. And it was long enough to where you could put another fucking hand over it and get, get down to business or whatever. Thing was ridiculous. I just couldn't believe it because, ladies and gents, we're in a level one. Again, we ain't in the level five, a four, a two even. We're in level one. Motherfuckers, we're going home in five years or less. Like, the fact that anybody has had that's got a shank in that motherfucker is just ridiculous. But, I mean, it did get, we. I mean, it did go down every now and again. Like, the gangs would sometimes tussle or whatever, but... And I mean, I ain't even going to lie. Like, I seen a stabbing go down and dude didn't walk away from it. Level one, dude died in the penitentiary from a stabbing or whatever. So, I mean, I've seen this shit being fucking happen in progress or whatever. Dudes go in the cell, dudes come out the cell, and the other one doesn't come out. The fucking COs do around, blow their whistles, everybody locked down, get... You know, get to your house, get to your cell. The yard's locked down, the base is closed, everything is closed or whatever, because dude legit fucking got stabbed and died or whatever. I remember seeing dudes pulling their shirts off, they're fucking getting everything off, trying to clean themselves, whatever, tossing their clothes to somebody else to get, a, get, a, get rid of it, and then they give them their shanks to get rid of, whatever, they fucking washing their face off, scrubbing their face off, or whatever. This is shit I've seen in, in the penitentiary. A level one, if that. And then the dudes go from level one to probably four or five because they just caught a murder case. And it was most likely gang-related. Hate to say it, but I mean, them gangs in there, like, they say don't gamble, don't gangbang, and don't owe a debt and do drugs in prison because you will fucking... Them gangs, are, they have to do it. That's why you don't gangbang because you don't get a saying in it. They tell you to jump... You got to fucking jump. And you might just be the next one that's got that rod, that motherfucking just crazy. Level one. We're going home soon. And they didn't give no fucks. They had them shits in there like they were ready to ride or die. And it was nuts. Those are the shanks that I've seen in prison. Go ahead and compliment, com compliment, comment down below. Subscribe. Share the video or whatever. Because ladies and gents... Level 1 gets popping too. But level 2 and level 4 and level 5 are definitely way worse. You got fucking f lifers and chomos and rapists and all that stuff. But you got them in level 1 too. But they get their own little little area or whatever. And if they were in 9 or 10 block though. Oh boy it would have been a different stay for them. Just saying so. Alright everybody have a good day.